welcome back, guys, to uh, Mob Tales with Nick Christopher's. That's me. I uh, hope you guys are doing well, having a good weekend. Uh, today, we're going to talk about some mob joints. I mean, there's a lot of them that are still around, some that are gone. It depends on which ones we're speaking of. So I'm going to mention a couple. Um, the first one I'll talk about is called Tomasso's. Tomasso's Restaurant is in Bensonhurst, Brooklyn. Actually, Diker Heights, really. Diker Heights, yeah, Diker Heights, really. It's across the street from Scarpacci's funeral, um, pretty much. And Tommaso's is very famous with guys like Carlo Gambino. Uh, he used to have, like, meetings in the back room. Uh, Tommaso's is on 86th Street, and, oh, my God, let me think. I think it's 13th Avenue, I believe, if I remember correctly. But it's on 86th Street. Um, a block or two away from what is now an optician store, which used to be called the 19th Hole, because it's right across the street from the golf course, uh, Bay Ridge, I guess Bay Ridge Golf Course. Um, the 19th Hole, like Tomasa's, was also a mob hangout. And the 19th Hole was a bar that was run by, run by Chris, Christy Tick. Fernari. Chris Tick Fernari was a captain uh, in the Lucchese family. And he used to run all his business through there, um, which is right exa exactly diagonally across from Scarfacci's funeral. Scarfacci's funeral was very famous for a lot of wise guy funerals that were, that were held there. Um, they actually filmed John Gotti there one time having a little convo outside of the place. Uh, so, Chris, 18th hole, 19th hole rather was um, pretty famous because, like I said, a lot of Lucchese crime, crime family worked there. And uh, the guy I knew, Spiro, the Greek, uh, who was the head of the Greek crew in Astoria, used to go there and drop off money every week, every month. Uh, well, actually, every week, really, to Bobby Amuso, which was Vic Amuso's son. That's who he used to send, give it to first. Then later, it was Picciotto. But that's where he used to drop it off, at the 19th hole. Sometimes other different locations, but that was like the main place because Christy Tick, Fenari, and um, Spiro, the Greek, they got along pretty well. It's really strange seeing these places, what they used to be and what they've become. It's really funny. Um, the Ravenite, very famous, John Gotti, the Ravenite Social Club out in Manhattan. Now it's a boutique store selling shoes. <laughs> I think it's pretty bizarre because that place was a haven for the Gambino family way back, not even that long ago, what, 90s? You know, then it became a boutique place. You got the Gemini Lounge. This is really strange. Now, the Gemini Lounge is run by Roy DeMeo, which is part of the Gambino crew under Paul Castellano. Roy DeMeo, the Gemini Lounge is no, known as the House of Horrors because these guys were psychopaths, the whole freaking crew. Uh, Roy DeMeo, Chris Rosenberg, uh, the Gemini Twins, the Anthony Center, um, Dracula was one guy's name. Um, I mean, they were a bunch of sickle cycles. They used to whack people, hang them in the shower upside down to let the blood drain, and order pizza while this guy's <laughs> hanging in the freaking shower curtain. Really bizarre. Now the Gemini Lounge, still there, the building is still there, but now it's a church. Tell me that's not freaking bizarre. A, a place like that, which is like what? The, uh, how, like I said, House of Horrors. It was like a dungeon of, for the devil, really. And this guy was sick. Now it's a church, ministry church or something. Really strange. Uh, another place I could mention is for a different crew, not Italian. Um, it's called the um, 596 Club, which is in Manhattan on the west side. This place was a hangout for the Westies, for the Irish. Jimmy Coonan, Mickey Featherstone, Mickey Spillane. They still want to hang out there. So that was Jimmy Coonan's place. Right now, that place now, um, I think it's still a bar, but it's not the same as what it used to be. It looks totally different. It's got glass windows outside. It doesn't look the same at all. Because the place it was before was a little more shabby. Not as, uh, you know, not as noticeable. Uh, another joint that I can mention 
uh, which is extremely famous, is Spark Steakhouse. Spark Steakhouse is still there. Now, Spark Steakhouse was the scene of where Paul Castellano was killed. Paul Castellano had a meeting there that was set up um, that we were supposed to meet, but I think it was the Chico's brother at that location. And he never made it inside, obviously, because John Gotti's crew whacked him December 16th, 1985, right outside of Sparks, a week before Christmas. Uh, a couple of guys who were dressed like Russians with Russian hats and overcoats uh, took out Paul Castellano and Tommy Bellotti as they were, as they were exiting their car, their Cadillac, uh, right outside of Sparks. And like I said, Sparks is still around. It's still sort of a mob hangout. Some guy, why does that still go there to have dinner and stuff like that? So that's still around. Uh, Rails, Rails in Harlem. Uh, Rails is a very, very famous Italian restaurant that takes you, some people take them a year to even get a reservation. It's not popular, but it's only popular because, not because, it's, I mean, the food is good, don't get me wrong, but it's made famous because celebrities have eaten, go to eat there. A lot of wise guys go to eat there. Uh, Rayo's is, was owned by Frank Pellegrino. Frank Pellegrino was an actor who, was, who played in The Sopranos and a couple of other projects. Great actor. I had the pleasure of meeting him. Great guy. Um, he owned a piece of Rayo's. Rayo's has their own tomato sauce, which is pretty famous. But Rayo's even became more infamous when John Gotti had his own table there. And one day when John Gotti was going there to get his table, the Albanians walked in. Alex Rudai. Alex Rudai was a boss of the Albanians. And Alex Rudai said, no, no, that's not your table. I'm on his hours. So Jane, John Gotti got chased by the Albanians. And they took over his table, his specific reserve, reserved table, which is an unheard of thing. The Albanians telling the Gambinos to get the fuck out of here. Uh, but the Albanians, of course, didn't last long after that. But um, that that made Rails pretty infamous. Uh, another place I can mention uh, is called Tally's. Tally's restaurant was in Bensonhurst, Brooklyn, which was run by Sammy Gravano. Uh, Sammy Gravano uh, is not there. The Tally's is not there anymore. Uh, the restaurant is just like I think it's a different name now. Uh, after Sammy got locked, you know, after everything happened with John Gotti and he uh, ratted on him, uh, testified rather. I don't want to use the word rat. Uh, that place turned, turned over to some other owner. Uh, but Tally's is pretty famous for uh, sit downs, uh, mob, de mob uh, decisions being made in that place. Uh, there's a, there was a gambling thing in the back of the restaurant. So that place is pretty famous in that, in that respect. The, the believe it was on 18th Avenue, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong. Um, but those are the kind of joints I was going to talk about today. They're all, some of them, like I said, still there, like Gemini's, is, Gemini Lounge is still, still there, Rails is still there, Sparks is still there, uh, Tomasso's is still there, uh, but they don't have that mob flavor no more. That's passed over a long time ago. But you guys can all check out these restaurants. You can find them, clubs online uh, what they used to look like and we'll share some photos of you of them uh, along with the uh, video so i hope you guys enjoyed it i'll have more places to talk about next time uh, please tune in again uh, like share subscribe make uh, leave comments we go definitely appreciate it good seeing you guys take care of yourself nick christopher's mob tales <laughs>